Hey friends and welcome to episode 31 of the Genetic Rim. Today we're going to expand our little uh, bee farm and I don't know, I haven't decided fully what to do but you know that from me already. So a few things are sure, I'm going to get myself some more steel, a little robot does that for us. We found some iron in uh, while expanding the bee room which was uh, a very very uh, good thing to happen because my steel was really running low and also the evil mine is going evil and uh yeah we're having some good fun here wait a sec that's so sadly i have two mods adding uh clay into the game and it's uh, all a little bit of a of a mess here there's the raw clay which has to be baked in the kiln to uh to clay bricks and there's just the clay we can use as we want to. Well, so let's see. I hope that in this episode we're finally going to uh, get the last generator done. That would be so awesome. Amalgam. So. Technological Queen has no uh, counterpart so far. How can that be? Okay. We're having quite a uh, wild mix everywhere here. I'm going to remove those uh, um, bees which aren't really adding up anything to my uh, farm here. There's an Agricultural Queen. Do I have that already? Check it out. Amalgam Nutritious. Amalgam Hybrid. Technological. Amalgam. No. Let's uh, toss in the Agricultural and combine that with... Well, I would say we would, we would need an Amalgam too, huh? Okay. Maybe I should leave a few of the uh, combinations here as they are, but... Uh, Let's see. Okay, those bees are really, really uh, confusing to say the least. What's he carrying there? Agricultural honeycomb. Okay. Fascinating. So. I would need an amalgam drone to uh, keep. Um, getting new bees, but for now I'm going to toss in a hybrid uh, drone just to make sure they're producing more honey. Wow, that's, uh, yeah, that's the bees. I really uh, think that this mod alone is worth putting it into a game and not playing much more than the rim bees. It's worth it, I guess. You're getting a good uh, experience for your money there. So, or much more for your time, because it's free. <laughs> Seriously. So Nicholas rides all the way down here to finish one unit of subsurface conduit. And then he runs all the way back to haul some steel for that generator. It's insane. It's just insane. So uh, Stoli is starving. What pity. Um, it's moderate starvation. I know why that is. It's because there's no uh, kibble right now in the animal zone. So let's uh, give Stoli some free uh, some free movement here. But why is there no kibble? What's wrong with the kibble order? Ah, I suspended that one. So. I think I did that because there was just uh, too much work flowing into the kibble, no? Or was it because of a food shortage? Hmm. Hard to tell. But whatever might be the case, I'm not going to go for a do forever uh, measure. We're going to go for a uh, permanent stockpile here because I feel like that's a lot more uh, easy to pull off. So we're having. 
uh, art, which is actually having a minus beauty value. I love it when it comes to this. Awful clay statue, minus beauty. The game gets, the, the room gets actively more ugly if you place that down. So, uh, it's still worth 35 bucks, so who cares. Well, let's check it out. On this sculpture is a depiction of Matthew Sparks practicing intellectual skills with visible exhaustion. Six smiths watch with amazement. Almost every shape in the image seems to be unbalanced. Okay. Besides that, a dragon in the other part of the image seems to symbolize plenty. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and that's the piece of art he did for becoming a science master. Seriously? Oh man, that's so sad. <laughs> so we got an adaptive uh, B here. Okay, what's next here? Charnokide, good quality, poor quality, poor quality. Yeah, those are really not uh, getting uh, too interesting here, but it's okay. So I'm going to uh, set up that psychic emanator here. Oh, something's happening. Oh, luckily it's only a doctor request opportunity. So I'm going to put the uh, psychic emanator in one of those uh, living blocks here, just so that it uh, also influences some rooms in the next uh, building. Okay. So what do we have here? There's a portrayal of Erin O'Meara wielding a slash hammer, wearing a contemplative look in her eyes. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's one where Sparks is researching. And this work is a depiction of a crafter bot working on a duster while wiping the sweat from his forehead. I like that one. Seven poets marvel at the device. <laughs> There's a town councillor in the low part of the image. So <laughs> I have to install that. <laughs> it's just too stupid not to use it. So, this is uh, an internal reminder that, bo that bots can do work too. You see. So let's go for the last one. So, bears a portrayal of a rat fellow collapsed in a chair and sweating uncontrollably. Eight teachers are stricken with the same affliction. <laughs> Almost every shape in the image seems to be static. Besides that, a large group of goblins appears off to one side. This depiction tells the story of a rat fellow being stricken with flu. So, we're definitely going to sell that. I don't want any reminder of uh, ill animals here in my colony. No thanks better things to do okay so uh, how's the work going for for this year I'm I'm not having the components damn so we have to achieve that as well I thought I had those mm. all right but at least um, there's some iron ore lying around here so I really want to know what comes out of the agricultural honeycomb. Because honestly, um, I'm, I, I'm puzzled. So let's do that. Agricultural. Do forever. Okay. Let's see what happens there. What happens out of the agricultural honeycomb? So we're getting beeswax and tasty honey. Okay. Tasty honey, what's up with that? This honey has been extracted from honeycombs of the nutritious family. Nutritious agricultural bittersweet egg laying and lactic. It has a high nutritional value. However, it will decay very fast. I see. So the tasty honey has to live um in the freezer then. Just like that. Um, oh, it's not even allowed here. So that's uh, that's good. I'm going to let it, let it be like this because, well, I want to have uh, uh, 
I want to have that stuff refrigerated. All right, so we have a lot of white honey. It's pretty good that uh, these things are now, well, getting more uh, of a use here. And uh, since this is also a freezer, let's do something here. I'm going to kick out the insect meat here. I'm going to pull it in here because this stuff is uh, the number one material for uh, making kibble in my opinion. So we're going to do a new special order here. Um, we're going to make forever kibble out of uh, all the insect meat. With this order, um, my colonists will always uh, make kibble out of the insect meat first. And if the total amount of kibble exceeds the 400, I won't be producing new kibble out of the uh, valuable meat. I think that's a very uh, good setup here. So Akio liked my idea so much that he throws a party. Nice, hey? All right. Don't think that the relation works like that, but whatever. Um, so that means I have to send another caravan home. Do I have things which I can turn into money? I'm pretty sure we have something we can turn into money. The uh, colony at this point is, uh, we're pretty rich. Let's sell the art. Oh, look at them. Look at them lighting it up. The reefer madness. Okay. I mean, there's a big downside uh, to smoke leaf because it uh, slows down your working by 30% and believe me 30% is really a lot but on the other side it makes the uh, overall colonists mood rise pretty high okay it's maybe a little bit of a bad pun there but whatever might be the case I prefer colonists um, being happy over colonists working fast and being unhappy and besides that well I don't mind them. It's a very, very good trade, uh, trade good, and that's why I tend to keep it. And I think it's time to kill the Diplodocus um, as soon as the party's over. We're going to hunt the dinosaur first. There's the party, and then there's the dinosaur. So let's go. First, there is the party. So this is going to be quite a nasty fight, but luckily I have stun available. Honestly, it's a big bad dinosaur. Don't underestimate it. That, uh, don't un don't underestimate that. This thing has so much meat on it. Quite happy that I bring that I have all the animals with me here. Okay, so as tempted as I might be to uh, get firing before everybody's here, I really want to make sure that this. Uh, is going well. I mean, in the end, I'm pretty sure I will just uh, nail that thing down and nothing will happen at all. But, well, safety first, you know. So, let's uh, mount Akio on the rat fellow. And Akio is going to be uh, the decoy. I don't have too much room for uh, decoy strats here, and uh, there goes. Uh, like I say, there's not really much room for decoy strats, but it was enough to uh, head over here, so that's a lot of wounds. I don't want to know what happens if you're uh, in melee with a Diplodocus. I don't really want to know, honestly. Alright, that's that. Let's uh, send a Keo butchering that guy. I just have to. Somebody has to butcher that Diplodocus, please. I have to watch it. So here, another baffling thing about RimWorld. 720 kilo, Akio got this. Well, maybe maybe we are not seeing Akio anymore, but he got this. See? It's easy. Adaptive Queen and Alloy Queen. Do I have those queens already uh, in those bee houses? So... Nope. The hybrid and amalgam are also not really uh, interesting anymore. I need new amalgam drones. That's what I really need. 
So as a matter of fact, we're going to put in new things here. So the amalgam ones uh, we got out of hybrid and I think it was hybrid and mild. Let's see, hybrid and tempered or hybrid and mild. So we're having a few units of dinosaur meat and a few units of sauropod leather. And let's uh, let's order some clothing. Um, so what's wrong with your gear, Maddox? Um, so we need a new headdress, a new scarf. What's that? Okay. So headdresses and scarves it is. Um, what do we have for the head? Well, only top hats. Well, well, well. Whatever, I'm okay with some cowboy hats. Let's make 10 cowboy hats. I really don't mind if they use whatever they want to use. And a few scarves. Oh, I can't do those yet, huh? Okay. Alrighty, I'll uh, just ready the caravan because I really want to sell some stuff and buy myself some components. It's a shame that I can't finish the generator just because I don't have the components. Like, what is this? I'll head somewhere... Okay, um, the people at Groovy uh, have restocked their stuff and it's only two more days of September left until it, uh, we hit winter. Winter is bad. So let's send John and... Well, I guess John and Maddox are okay. Um, how was her pregnancy? No, I'm not going to send pregnant uh, horses here. John and Maddox can ride there. Um, we have a lot of uh, carrying capacity available. Let's uh, well. I wonder if I want to pick, bring us, bring some mount here as well. Let's bring the rat fellow. Come on, it's even making the caravan a lot uh, quicker. So, it's that. So the hay is no use to bring. Well, nondescript vegetables. Um, where did they come from? I'll better not ask. All right, so let's pick up the things we need. I have a ton of advanced components. Holy crap. I'm going to sell seven of those. I know you you use them later on a lot, but right now I'm suffering a really massive shortage of uh, money, and this is a good way to counteract that. Because it's really early to have this amount of uh, advanced components. So the honey starts to pile up. That's good. And let's bring all these sculptures, except for the unfinished ones, of course. That would be silly. Um, squirrel horns sadly don't get bought here, but there are a few clothes that we can bring. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm so happy with my little cleaning bod. Can't tell you how happy this cleaning bod makes me. So, extracting honey and white wax. So I'm starting to rack up a lot of beeswax as well. That's good, it's really good. So, question, can I do, oh, I can do those out of beeswax, awesome. So uh, these bees are basically giving me um, some new building material. I really like them for a bad. Okay. So, the only thing missing down here are the components. This was such a massive undertaking um, to get this power grid up and running, but, well, we do have a massive amount of energy needed here as well. So let's check out if the power grid is working as we're needing it. So the connections are there. We're having here. Everything is connected. 
good. So we're just waiting for the third geothermal generator. Awesome. Okay. Possibly should research some uh, solar energy as well. Because somehow I feel like it, it seems like we're missing that a little bit as well. So there goes the crafter bot. And we're doing a lot of sauropod leather hats. Mm. Nice. I mean, all that dinosaur meat, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Still no success in taming the Meadow Ave. That's sad. But luckily, um, we're going to finish our trades before the winter strikes. It's really, really relieving me. Um, really considering also sending... Uh, well, no, we're not going to send those peeps down here. Um, who's my best doctor while we're at it? Uh, Akio is my best doctor, followed by Orozco, okay. Wow, that was such a massive Iron Wayne. Nice. And the 10 cowboy hats are already done. Those bots are making such a hefty increase of, producti uh, of productivity, it's amazing. And we're only getting started. So of course there's also the deep drill if we need steel. I guess we're, we're fine now when it comes down to steel. Sparks keeps tinkering those uh, ugly statues. But I mean at least uh, all this clay is uh, getting used for something. I'm really not that unhappy with it. And he's gaining his skills. He's definitely gaining his skills. I mean, our research endeavors uh, got slowed down by that a lot. Huh, what well, well, there's always something, you know. Are you kidding me, man? Come on. Not like this. I don't accept that somebody else will run over there because he's just too lazy to finish the job. Alright. But overall, um, we're starting to uh, get done with the most uh, jobs because repairs finally get done and that's always a good sign if your repairs get done. That means we're getting uh, closer to building the guest wing. Oh, finally. I was waiting for that since I don't know how long. Alright. Let's harvest some berries. So yeah, we're creating new amalgam bees. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Awesome. So what do we have here? A nutritious honeycomb. I think that's going to be uh, the same as the uh, agricultural one, huh? So let's check it out. Um, yeah, Nicholas is finally getting done getting down with some uh, jobs that are lying around for I don't know how long. So we're going to need, what, a slate uneven brick floor? I really like that one. So, there we go. I'm going to leave this room like this? I don't know yet. Possibly I will. So let's check it out. What do we extract out of that? So there's some nutritious, there's some tasty honey, some beeswax, and some nondescript meat. Ah, that's where the nondescript veggies came from. So the nutritious honeycombs and the agricultural honeycombs give you some extra produce, extra to the uh, honey. I think these are the first bees to do that. And my ruby caravan years are there, so let's trade. Alright. Let's trade. There's a lot of money in those advanced components. I'm going to trade them for some regular components. There we go. 
organic drones and queens. You see the value change there. Oh my god. Wow. So once you're there, these are really, really uh, valuable. Let me see. Okay. But let's not get too excited here. There's some clothing I want to sell. And there are the statues I want to sell. So we don't uh, end up with too much money left there. Oh, cleaner tier 4. No, or who, do, who does buy that? Um, but I really want to check out if there's anything that I could afford. Like, you know, I have 500 bucks. So kidneys and joy wires. Hmm, well... Thanks, but no sec. Thanks. Give me a sec. Those noises are a little bit too annoying to me. Alrighty. So, what do we have next? Weapons. Weapons are always good. So there's an assault rifle over here, but I can't afford that if we buy all the components. So maybe if I go for a trade like this. There we go. Well, you see, assault rifles are items I really like to buy. Always. Okay. So, Roscoe is doing the digging now there, and we finished another sculpture. Alright. If I finish so many uh, pieces of art, I, I grow tired looking at all of them, I have to sadly say. So, we're, what, having always one... There. Just, uh wanted to measure. So these things here are really uh, eating up a lot of power, but I don't care. They are really important for my mountain base. You see. And we're under a black hive attack. They always come when you're uh, when you're busy with something else. So four mammoth worms, two black spiders, two black spellopedes, Two megalouses and two black scarabs. Okay. That's brutal. That's pretty brutal. How far away are my peeps here? 0.6 days. So, uh, chances are really slim that they're getting uh, to us without a big fight. So, that's the worst, worst thing about the black scarab, uh, about the black hives. I mean, look at that speed. They're so quickly here it's annoying so I'm going to hold open those doors because I want to uh, fight back here okay so luckily the hive uh, spreads into two directions here okay sometimes you get lucky so I really want to kill off the small ones which are threatening to destroy the turrets but I really have to take care that, um, all right, that's the first one. Um, I really have to take care that nobody is uh, standing too close to the turrets in, in case they might detonate, you know. It's really nasty if they do. Okay. So my fighters are slowly uh, getting in. I'm going to let Sparks release his uh, his crazy uh, animals. Okay, they just lodged the first one. So um, it's time to go for the alternative strat here. Um, there goes Aaron up front, and Aaron, please dismount because I'm way too scared to have uh, somebody sitting on a uh, explosive animal. So we have to run away now. So I gotta remember that these are way too close together. So let's uh, 
change that. Okay, so the explosion had one really big downside. Uh, my my whole tanking uh, strategy here uh, dissolved itself. But on the plus side, I at least uh, destroyed the uh, Mega Worm there with uh, not too much trouble. Because it started burning, and uh, burning enemies are always uh, behaving quite uh, stupid. So, I really want to save those components. So, there we go. It's a little bit stupid, I know. Alrighty, so what do we have here left? The big boys are left, and uh, that's that, okay. Alright, that guy went behind the cover. So, uh, possibly, I don't want to mess around with that like this. Alright, let's break the cover. Just get around him. And, uh, Celine, I want her to, to quench that fire. Um, is Orozco bleeding? Yes, he is. Okay. Damn. But, uh... There we go. Alright, that problem's gone. Will this thing die? Yes, it will. Alright. Good, good. Um, let's free them up for the moment. I want everybody to fight those fires right away. Because they are destroying my loot and my components. And I can't uh, accept any of those. Also save this last bit of turret friends save it all right so over here i just hope that my turrets uh, will win this without me i mean they uh fought off the first black scarab there's another mega louse they have to defeat well let's just hope for the best um so there are now a few big monster monsters left so, uh, Orozco is a do good doctor, so I'm going to allow himself to tend to himself here. Simple reason, I want uh, Nicholas... And how about Sparks? Yeah. Nicholas, Sparks, and who has another big gun? Well, Orozco definitely is out of this. Yeah, Lay. Alright just want to bring a few more people who are able to stop the uh, big worms there. Come on. I just hope I don't have to uh, buy a, whole, uh, a ton of new turrets here. Okay, well, Roscoe is still tending to himself, so let's uh, get over to this. Because uh, this is a lot easier if you have uh, heavy weapons firing on those buggers as well. And I have a uh, charge weaponry, so I can just uh, pelt them down like that. Okay, so the last guys are getting over here. Let's meet them. Let's check out the needs. Sparks, Lay, and Nicholas. Well, Nicholas is quite hungry, but apart from that... Okay, that was quite scary. <laughs> Gotta say. But luckily, my enemies keep spreading themselves up, uh, out in situations like these, and that makes it all so much easier to handle, honestly. Um, it would have been so much m more dangerous if they uh, went would have went for a direct onslaught here on this side. But seriously, um, I need to spread them out a little bit more. With these explosion radius uh, things going on, I just uh, I just lost those turrets for a nod, and that makes me a little bit sad. So we're going to make it as follows. Um, what do I have a lot of? Wood. No, I don't want wood. Slate. No. 
charnakite blocks. I have endless amounts of charnakite blocks. There we go. So we're going to drop charnakite slabs outside here, or is there any other thing that I would prefer? I mean, I have the free uh, choice here. But rough slabs, that's good. Rough tiles. Charnakite rough tiles. If I find the charnakite, that is. Porcelain. Porcelain rough tiles. Sounds like a oxymoron to me. Where is the charnakite? Oh, finally. So, um... What I'm going to do now is uh, quite simple. There are so many trees in my way here that won't, uh, that I wanted to stop. So we're going to uh, floor this whole area here. Just like that. I know I'll spend uh, a hefty amount of my Tarnakite blocks uh, due to that. But hey, I'm also mining out that mountain, so who cares? And there we go. That's a new building project for my uh, bad boys there, don't you think? Okay, wow, that was a scary attack. But um, also, the kibble for the next uh, I don't know how many years is uh, absolutely safe. So I'm going to uh, allow some kibble in those baskets as well. Ah, <sighs> damn, scratchy nose. Alright. <laughs> I have a lot of different bees now. The adaptive queen, I don't think I have uh, one settled yet. Alloy queens, I don't think I have settled them either. Um, squirrel loop. Died in an explosion. Ah, that's uh, just uh, missed that one when it happened. Alrighty. Um. So alloy queen. Yeah, that's where I, where my head was stuck with. Um, I'm doing here new amalgams. We have agricultural. Here we have new a production for a new uh, all matter roughs. Here we have a technological queen, and uh, here, 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 that's something we can change. So let's put the alloy in there, and, uh, well, the hybrid one, well, I'm having a severe lack of drones, that's what I'm uh, noticing here. The drones are certainly a problem here, and I'm not having enough of them. And apart from that, um, we have to research the technology which uh, brings me the ability to um, manufacture my own components because this is just uh, getting too tedious for my taste. Alright friends, so we're sadly heading uh, towards the end of this episode. Um, good old Orozco mining out the steel. So feel free to drop me a comment down below. I always look, uh, love to hear from you as you know. And uh, yeah, share the video with your friends, drop it a like, or subscribe to my channel if you want to be a real good person who wants, who wants to make my day really, really happy. Whatever might be the case, I hope you enjoyed your stay at the Monster Farm, and I hope you're coming back for more, and we still didn't get that, come on, that thing done. We're going to get it done next time, promise. Fine meals fell from the sky, and with this, I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.